mobile home parks in some ways don't get enough street cred. And the reason that they should get more street cred, a couple of reasons. Mobile homes are affordable housing. What is going on, DeRosa Insiders? It's Matt Faircloth, and thank you for watching or listening or joining the Cashflow Digest program. If you're watching this thing live, that's because you're on the DeRosa Facebook feed at DeRosa Insiders. If you're not, what are you doing? Go right now to Facebook. Yeah, I'm sure you're familiar with that. Join DeRosa Insiders on Facebook. There, we've got people talking about deals. We've got people talking about opportunities. And we've got people talking about all things real estate. And this show is broadcast live at noon Eastern every week. Cool. All right, everybody. Today, I want to talk to you guys about an interesting concept that's happening in the market with regards to a certain asset class that probably doesn't get talked about, talked about enough. And maybe this asset class just gets lumped into being a part of residential housing. But, the, but but number one, residential housing is a huge bucket of all kinds of different places that people can live. And to put a multifamily and short-term rentals and assisted living and mobile homes and many, many other things, even new construction, building these kinds of things, all into one ginormous asset class called residential housing is too big of a bucket. Uh, of investments. Things function differently in that. So I just like, I, I wouldn't, we don't buy student housing as a company. DeRosa Group does not. That's still residential housing. It's still a roof over people's head, but that is not an asset class that we function in because it runs differently, right? So uh, you got to decide which niche of residential housing you're in. And the one I want to talk to you guys, you guys about today is mobile homes. What's interesting is that there's an article here. We believe in transforming lives through real estate. It's what we do. So what we do, what we help our students do, those that are members of our accelerator program and those that are members of our communities, we coach and preach all day long about benefiting people's lives through what we do in our business, meaning making the world a better place, so to speak, through the investments that we make. We believe that in our heart, that that's what we, we can do. And that's what we do every day at DeRosa Group. Now, mobile home parks in some ways don't get enough street cred. And the reason that they should get more street cred, a couple of reasons. Mobile homes are affordable housing in some ways. The, the average mobile home for what it costs to live in a mobile home compared to either owning or renting in an apartment complex or, of course, owning a home within driving distance of that mobile home park, it is by far more affordable than it would be in dollars per month across the table. But it's not viewed as well as it should. Maybe mobile homes are where a lot of America should be looking at for more of its affordable housing. And that's what the article is all about, is about the possibility of opening up the regulations and allowing the construction of more mobile homes. Many mobile homes are manufactured in America. That's a good thing, right? Many mobile homes provide good, affordable housing for people, new construction mobile homes or existing mobile homes that are, get, that are bought and fitted out and retrofitted. Another reason why mobile homes are a great investment that do transform lives through real estate is there are certain structures of mobile homes, meaning, I mean, financial structures like arrangements of mobile homes, where the person that's living in the mobile home, in, in the unit, can own the box that they're in. And they could be renting the, of course, renting the dirt from their landlord, but, and the landlord's doing things like cutting the grass and maintaining the roads and likely providing water and utility outlets to them that they can then pay by the gallon or by the kilowatt for them using. But they own the sticks and bricks. They own the, the four walls that they're, that they're residing in. Ownership is a means to transform lives to real estate. Equity is a means to transform lives to real estate. And to give a owner of the box that they're in ownership by either seller financing or allowing them to buy it outright, whatever means they want to do that. Doing that allows them to build their long-term wealth. Maybe the mobile home that they're in is not going to be worth a million bucks one day, but maybe it doesn't need to for them to set to, for them to one day sell that mobile home to the next person and send their kid to college on it or to send their kid to community college or just have enough for them to relocate or move to you know some other place they want to retire into, right? Mobile homes can be a part of uh, middle America's long-term financial plan. Maybe long-term home, home ownership isn't for everybody, but maybe a mobile home is a nice bridge. Other ways that tr real estate can get transformed, we can transform lives through mobile home parks is providing just great amenities to mobile home users like playgrounds, like parks, like you know, big movie nights or jumpy houses or whatever. If you're a landlord that owns a mobile home park, there are amenities and ways, you, things you could do to make your tenants' lives easier, better, more enjoyable, whatever it may be. And the article also is uh, something that talks about a, a way that we can perhaps just 
overall make people's lives better by giving them just you know more amenities, more benefits, lower cost of ownership, lower cost of financing. All those things all add up to transforming lives through real estate and they add up to a potential solution, not a solution for everybody. I get living in a mobile home, not for everybody, but it could be for a lot more people than we are allowing it to be. The permits for new mobile home parks are very hard to come by. There's a lot of not in my backyard NIMBY judgment that happens around mobile homes. And maybe we should release a lot of that so we can solve the affordable housing crisis we have in America. So this is what this article is all about. What do you think? If you're watching this on YouTube, if you're watching it in as part of our Cash Flow Digest podcast, if you're watching it somewhere else, tell me what you think about mobile homes being the solution to affordable housing problems in America. Should mobile homes, should there be more mobile homes? Should towns allow more of them? Are you a part of the not in my backyard conversation? Would you allow a mobile home park to get built in your backyard? Or would you be one of the folks coming out to protest that? Or would you welcome it, right? Ask that, ask that personally. All those things I'd like to talk to you guys about in the comment section. That's what I got for you guys today in the current event comment corner on the Cashflow Digest show. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Those of you guys that are watching the recording of this program, don't forget to go to DeRosa Insiders, I-N-S-I-D-E-R-S. You know how to spell that. Go to DeRosa Insiders on Facebook and join us live in this community so you can be a part of the thousands of people that are part of the DeRosa Insiders group already and join us for all things real estate, all things real estate talk. If you guys want to join us on our accelerator program or see if you qualify for that, Go to DeRosaGroup.com forward slash accelerator. We do have a few seats open where we teach people how to double, triple, quadruple, even 10x their multifamily investing business through the DeRosa Group tactics, DeRosa Group strategies that we've developed and give you guys a successful business in a box in 90 days or less that you can take and grow and scale your business with the tools that we have practiced here at the DeRosa Group and that we use on a daily basis. Check that out, guys. DeRosaGroup.com forward slash accelerator. Thank you for joining the Cashflow Digest. We will see you guys next week. We'll see you guys there. Take care. Hey guys, Matt Faircloth here. Thank you for listening again to the Cash Flow Digest. I really appreciate you guys doing that. If you guys want to hear more about what DeRosa Group has to offer, go to DeRosa Group, D E R O S A Group.com, DeRosa Group.com online. You can hear about all the great things that we offer from an educational standpoint and passive investment standpoint on our website. See you there. And if you guys want to join our online community, DeRosa Insiders on Facebook, where you can watch this program get recorded every Friday at noon Eastern, and you can come on as even a guest or ask questions on the show. We hope to see you guys on our online community, DeRosa Insiders. See you there.